Now, what are the things that you have to be careful about doing in terms of the NCAA you know, regulations, both as the attorney and as the parent? You know, what are the pitfalls here? Well, the, the, the parent can hire a, an attorney, and, but the, it, 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 they have to be careful when they start talking about an agent. A lot of these kids, when they go into NCAA to play ball, they can't have an agent. Right. They have to wait until they're, they give, they're, they're not, no longer eligible to play. Right. Um, you have to advise the parents that. And say, look, you're not an agent. You're an you're attorney. You're not an agent, right? And it, you have to follow the rules. I have to follow them, and so do you. And so does the agent that you ultimately hire, whether that's me, an attorney, or another attorney agent, or an agent who's not an attorney. You still have to be careful. You can't go out of your way to look for greasing any palms. You can't look out of your way to make what you think is a, an innocent donation or. <coughs> an innocent offer of help or an innocent offer of gifts because any of those things can be construed as a violation of the rule. So how do you get your kid looked at? Well, getting them looked at it is not the same as soliciting a favor. You can circulate the tape to all the schools. Right. Circulate the tape. Get the coach's attention. Have them come out and look. Just don't do anything that involves a quid pro quo and certainly don't sign an agent's contract. Can, can you give me an example of what would be a prohibited practice with a quid, quid pro quo? Well... Offering to pay the trip for the coach to come out to see your son. Right. That would be a, a violation. Okay. Or offering something in exchange, anything in exchange to getting that extra look would be a violation. What, what can you do to get them to come out apart from sending them a tape and begging? Well, get your coach to, to if your coach, a lot, a lot of these high school coaches have contacts with uh, collegiate coaches. Right. And they can certainly make the call and make a recommendation. There's nothing wrong with that as long as that's all it is, a recommendation. And sending the DVD. And sending the DVD. Or, or the stats or whatever it may be. Right. I mean, I've seen situations where um, coaches, um, there's St. Anthony's prep up in North Jersey where the coach would make a phone call and say, come on out, take a look at this kid. So we, let me know what you think. Right. You know, and, and the coach may or may not follow him up on that. Now,